Healthy Kidney Inc. This is Robert Galarowitz. Thanks for watching this video today. And we're talking about inflammation and losing your kidney transplant. So we're going to talk about a study, talk about what it means, and talk about what you can do about it. So thanks for watching. I'm Robert Galarowitz, 19 years with a kidney transplant. That one's supposed to last very long. So this topic's important to me. I've utilized all these things that I talk about to keep my transplant going even to this day. So this study is systemic inflammation early after kidney transplantation is associated with long-term graft loss, a cohort study, Frontiers of Immunology, 2023. So what they found was they tested people who had kidney transplants six weeks to one year out. They looked at 11 different inflammation markers. And when they found the people who had higher inflammation among these markers lost their transplants sooner. So whenever you have a kidney transplant, there's always inflammation there because you had surgery. You had a major surgery. You have a lot of medication and drugs going on. So there's inflammation. There's microinflammation. They don't test for inflammation. And that's okay. That's what, you know, they don't test for inflammation. So that's what they do, but that's fine. But what you can do within your own means, there's things that you can do to reduce that inflammation. One thing is diet. So you want to have a good, clean diet as best you can when you have a kidney transplant before, especially afterwards, where it's really important. You want to have a diet low in salt. Okay, you want to do your best to minimize salt intake. So that kidney, okay, and those all those uh, blood vessels, everything that's been connected surgically, okay, has to heal now. All right, so you want that to heal easily. So you want to keep a low salt diet. You don't want to put any extra pressure. You want to avoid fried foods, okay? All the common things that you know are bad for you, okay? Fried, fatty foods, okay? Heavy proteins like red meats. Even though you got a transplant and you feel like you can open up your diet more, you can, but you don't want to go like crazy and have a lot of things that are unhealthy for you. So definitely have a healthy, good diet, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, plant-based proteins, beans, whole grains, okay? All these things that are really good for you, but make sure you don't have any restrictions first, okay? So talk to the dietitians at the transplant center, especially in the early stages, because generally it can take, sometimes you can become stable right away with a transplant or it may take months, okay? It could take up to six months. So make sure a good, clean diet, lots of water, avoid the soda, avoid the junk food, Okay, definitely avoid like energy drinks, none of that stuff. Just lots of good clean water. You can put some fresh lemon, fresh lime in it. But strive to have lots and lots of good clean water. Now later when you're stable, you can do some supplements. We talk about those in other videos. Things like a vitamin E would be good, curcumin, possible cordyceps, things that we know are safe for the transplant and they help keep inflammation down. CoQ10 is another one. So things to think about, consider, but at the very minimum, you can definitely have a healthier, better, clean diet that doesn't put a lot of stress on that transplant. And it's gonna help it last so much longer. So thanks for watching and watch all of our other transplant videos. Bye.